Oh, so cozy. Love the vibes. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I know what you're thinking, Daisy. Isn't it a little bit too early for a fall haul? But I was like, mm, you know what? It's never too early for a fall haul. Uh, I just couldn't wait to show you guys like all the fall scents and the candles and the lippies and the makeup that I love for the fall time because your bitch is all about the warm tones in the fall time and the browns and the burgundies and the plums and the burnt oranges. I literally live for fall. But anyways, um, all the decorations are from Marshalls. Even my really cute mug. It says, morning pop. Oh, mm, mm. So good. Little room tour for a second, but those two pillows um, are from Marshalls. They're just like a burnt orange and it has like this pattern. You really can't see it on the camera. But then I got this blessed little throw pillow and then I got this like knit blanket to go across the bed. I feel like it adds a little something. And then on that side, I got those sunflowers. I feel like it gives a lot of like autumn vibes. And then I put a little white pumpkin over there. You can't really see it. And then there's a candle from Bath and Body Works. Over here, I have like this little pumpkin decoration and then with just a candle burning. Uh, it's actually not a fall scent, but you guys don't have to know that. But it goes with the aesthetic, okay? All right, I'm ready to dive into today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. And do not forget to hit that notification bell button down below and subscribe. You're already here, so you might as well just subscribe, you know? But anyways, okay, let's move on to the makeup because I'm really excited for the lippies. Sis, I have a lot of lippies, so I cannot wait to go through all of them. So we're going to start off with the lippy that I am wearing right now, which is in the shade Hazel by Kylie Cosmetics. This is just a straight up, like, I feel like it's like an orange brown nude, if that makes any sense at all. I think it's perfect for the fall time because it's not like a straight up pink nude, but it's like a brown nude, if that makes any sense. Um, also, I had to restock on this one because I got it when it first launched and then they dry out really quickly. Um, these only last up to 12 months, but I had mine for like eight months and it was already dry. Um, True Brown K is the most gorgeous brown ever. It is so rich. It's straight up like chocolate. I'm not gonna lie, the Kylie lip kits are pretty expensive, um, but I would recommend you guys to get the lip kits instead of just getting a single because it's just a little bit more dollars for a lip liner. So here are the swatches right next to each other. So as I was saying, this is kind of like a brown nude and then this is just straight up like a brown. These are perfect for the fall time and I'm not gonna lie, Kylie does have a really good formula for her lips. If you're gonna get anything from Kylie Cosmetics this fall time, I recommend these two. Wow, the sirens, so freaking rude. Um, Hazel and True Brown K. So now moving on to drugstore, I have been loving these lippies um, and they are perfect for the fall time. I made sure to get the ones that I would wear on the fall time, on the fall time, in the fall time, the fuck. These are the Les Chocolates Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks by L'Oreal and these straight up smell like chocolate. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, I love lippies that have really strong scents to them like vanilla or chocolate. So the first one I want to show you guys is called Bittersweet. This is straight up like a cool tone brown nude. <gasps> oh my god, no freaking way. Bitch, I am shook right now. Oh my god, tea. But L'Oreal has a better formula than Kylie Cosmetics. Oops. Yeah, just said that. This one is in the name 70% Yum. Mm, that's a really cool name. Now, bitch, let me tell you, I just swatched it right now and I'm not gonna lie, L'Oreal has a way better formula than Kylie Cosmetics because I thought this was the darkest brown I have, but this one is so much more rich in the pigment and this one smells really, really good. So down here we have the L'Oreal one, which is way more pigmented and rich than the Kylie Cosmetics. And then up here, we have that cool tone muted kind of gray brown. Obsessed. If you're not trying to spend that much money on Kylie Cosmetics, then I definitely recommend these from L'Oreal. I mean, they're drugstore and they're really good quality. The formula is freaking amazing. They really did that with these. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> I just sound like the yodeling boy, oh my gosh. Okay, now moving on to this next brand. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about them. Um, I feel like they're really underrated, but their formula is pretty amazing. Time Los Angeles has the most beautiful lippies as well. The colors that I have right here are Corruption, Macchiato, and 
foliage. So we're going to start off with Corruption, which is just like a really rich, dark cranberry color. I love wearing cranberry colors, especially in the fall time. If I do like a brown smoky eye, this lip would look good with it. If I just do like an orange smoky eye, this would look good. I feel like this lippy can be really universal and go with any look. Next up, we have Foliage, which is just a straight up burnt orange. It is so freaking stunning, even when I swatch it right here. And the formula is so pigmented and these do not streak at all. But I feel like just a straight up burnt orange looks so pretty, especially if you pair it with like a smoky orange eye or brown smoky eye. So the next one I have is called Macchiato. It's kind of like the burnt orange one, but it's just a little bit lighter. So if you don't like rocking like just like a straight up burnt orange, you want a little bit something more on the nude side, then this one is perfect for you. They do look somewhat similar, but like I said, if you don't like wearing orange, then I recommend this one. Y'all, excuse the sirens, but anyways, here are the colors up close. Um, here, as I was telling you guys, this one is more of like a nude orange and this one is straight up a burnt orange. And then here we have that cranberry color that is super super nice we only have three more lippies and i always run to dose of colors every single time it's fall because back then the only lippies that i would use for the fall time would be dose of colors obviously not have branched out but these are my redder dyes for the fall time if you go all the way back to my instagram these are the ones that i was always rocking um for the fall time so we have brick chocolate wasted and cork so here we have cork which i feel like is in between of these two up here because it's not as light as this one and it's not as orange as this one this one definitely has more brown undertones to it next we have chocolate wasted it kind of is like these two but it's a little bit more lighter so this one straight up reminds me of just like hot cocoa i guess you could say and then we have brick over here which is a little bit more red this one straight up looks like a cranberry it's more on the red tones this one is more like of a red wine if that makes any sense but just looking at these swatches makes me so freaking happy because they're all just beautiful fall colors okay so now we're gonna move on to the palettes once again dose of colors does it with the formulas these I have been rocking with for such a long time, especially this one, the Baked Browns. I've done multiple tutorials using this palette. This is perfect, literally the perfect palette for the fall time. I love this palette because it's so easy to travel with and the brush that comes with the palette is actually really, really good. They have one side for blending and then the other one for packing and even the brush is really good quality. So I feel like the money is definitely worth the whole entire palette. So here we have just a straight up white shade. This would be perfect for the brow bone. And then you have your cool tones and then here you have like the cranberry burnt red kind of and then you have a brown so you can honestly create so many fall looks with this palette or even if you just want to do like a brown smoky eye a cranberry smoky eye you can do a lot of things with this palette and i love it perfect for the fall time next up we have sassy siennas i haven't had time to play with this one but look at how gorgeous this one is straight up screams fall to me these are a little bit on the peachy side but if you look at these colors over here uh they're to die for here is the brush as well here is the blending side, and then here is the packing side. I love this trio. You can honestly just make a beautiful brown, fall, autumn, smoky eye. You know what? I just keep saying the same shit, but you guys get the point. These are two really good palettes. Okay, so I had to get this out of my catacomb section of the makeup that I no longer touch, but this palette is pretty iconic, and every single time fall would come around, I would use this palette. Yes. An OG, a legend. The Modern Renaissance palette from ABH is honestly so freaking good. It's perfect for the fall time. You have a lot of those burnt oranges, those cranberries, those neutrals, and the nude. So I feel like this is perfect for the fall time. If you do not have this palette or if you don't own it, I definitely recommend it because I use this palette all year round. It's not just for the fall time. You can also use it during the summer because you do have some like bright pinks in there. So, love that. All right, so now we're going to move on to Bath & Body Works. I am so excited for this part because you guys know that in all of my hauls, especially around the fall and winter time, I always show you guys the best scents and the ones that I love and the ones that I end up recommending you guys end up loving as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the one that I had back there. This one is called Harvest Gathering and this just straight up smells like Thanksgiving to me. It's so yummy and I love the packaging. I love that it has the burnt orange on it and I love the gold lid next up we have pumpkin cupcake and you guys this is literally me in a candle i love cupcakes and i love fall and they were like let's just make this very easy it just straight up smells like birthday cake and pumpkins 
more like on the pumpkin side but it's like it's sweet but it's not too sweet so this one if you're like one of those people that like sweet smells but not too sweet this one's for you next up we have another one that's kind of like the same packaging over there this one is called crisp morning air oh my god this one smells straight up like abercrombie and fitch it smells so good but then it has that hint of like pumpkin in there if pumpkins and fall could be a guy cologne it would be this it just smells really like masculine but really fall oh i cannot get enough of that one Ugh. the next one we have is hot cocoa and cream every freaking year i have to get this one it straight up smells like hot cocoa you guys know i love hot cocoa ah it just straight up smells like hot cocoa if you're a really big chocolate person or a coffee person this is perfect for you it smells so freaking good especially for the fall and winter time this smells like christmas and it smells like fall so it's like two in one next up we have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow all three things that i love this one is more sweet compared to this one this one is not as sweet but this one is like bitch like really really sweet i had to save the best for last which is pumpkin pecan waffles it just smells like Thanksgiving breakfast. Uh, uh, so now over here, I have the hand soap. Sorry, y'all. The girls today just want to come out, and I'm not letting them make an appearance. Anyways, so we're going to move on to the body wash and the hand soaps, okay? I'm going to start off by saying one, two, three, four, five, and six. It is that freaking critical, you guys. This is my favorite hands down body wash ever. And I hope Bath and Body Works keeps this because I am obsessed with it, okay? I didn't know how obsessed I was with it until I was about to run out. I saw the bottle like halfway and I was like, <gasps> I was like, I don't know if this scent is gonna be available anymore. I didn't know if it was limited edition, so I was like being really stingy with it. And I saw the shelf stocked up and I was like, you know what? Buy three, get three free. I was like, bitch, I'm snatching. And another reason why I fell in love with it is because every time Nick comes over, he always likes to freaking bury his head in my neck. And he's always complimenting me. He's like, I love your scent. And I was like, what does my scent smell like? He's like, I can't put my finger on it. He's like, it just smells so good. One time he took a shower, obviously in my bathroom, and he comes out. He's like, oh my gosh, babe, I know what your scent is. And I was like, what? He's like, it's the body wash. I, your girl goes in when I scrub myself. So I guess I smell like this 24-7. It just smells so freaking good. It's It smells like the girl version of Abercrombie and Fitch. You know like Abercrombie and Fitch has like a really masculine smell. This one is just really like, it's just lovely and dreamy. That's that's the name of it and it's so good. This has Shea butter and vitamin E. So it's really good for the skin. It's really nourishing and really hydrating. Also the keynotes for the smell is clean woods, white iris, fresh bergamot, and fluffy musk. So like I said, kind of like the girly version of Abercrombie and Fitch. It's just so good. And trust me, your mans will be all over you because Nick literally just like eats me up every day. <laughs> I think that was team like. <laughs> the very first one I have is marshmallow pumpkin latte. The next one I have is coconut pumpkin latte. And of course I had to get pumpkin cupcake like the candle. The last one I got was pumpkin apple. This one straight up smells like a pumpkin patch. And then of course I had to get two Halloween ones. I have witch please and perfect pumpkin. I just love the decoration on these. These are so freaking adorable. That is it for this video. And of course I cannot let you guys go without a giveaway. So for this giveaway, I want to give away a $100 gift card to Bath & Body Works that we can go out and get three hand soaps or three body wash or three lotions. You get you buy three and then you get three for free. So that saves you money already. And you can buy some candles as well that we can splurge on all of your fall activities if that made any sense at all. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait for all the fall tutorials to come. If you guys want a tutorial on this look, actually, let's have a little montage moment right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. I just, like, love the ball. I can honestly just stay here forever.